All right, welcome back to my captain's vlog series. Uh, this one starts upside down as usual. Here I am setting the, up the camera for an impromptu move in the marina. Look how happy I look. They were doing some work on my little slip here. They were replacing some, some wood along the, uh, the water line there and I had to get my boat out of the way. Thankfully, these two guys were here to help me out. So it was relatively simple, even though this is probably one of the windier times I've ever done this. Um, having a couple people on the dock waiting to grab your lines is pretty much the best way to do things. That's why I'm showing you this little clip here. I'm usually coming in by myself and uh, it's a whole different kettle of fish when you're doing this all by yourself. So I decided after this little incident here where I had to quickly move my boat in windy conditions, which I wouldn't normally do, uh, move my boat in, I decided to do some, some docking drills. So basically, I, I received a comment here on YouTube a little while ago from somebody who noticed that I was having trouble docking and, and therefore uh, gave me a comment which said basically there's a different way of doing it. But what they suggested was essentially to um, use a line that's tied up like if you, you can't really tell in this shot but it's tied up to the winch right there. Uh, it goes back to a cleat along on the actual dock itself and then back up to a cleat on the boat. And so I can from the cockpit I can actually adjust the tension uh, of that line and what you also can't see here is that I have the motor engaged I have the the, uh, the engine in gear and pushing forward so the pushing forward of the boat is squishing it up against the dock so one of the reasons I'm actually showing you this these videos um, and these uh, multiple attempts at this docking technique is because I've got to learn how to do this and watching the videotape watching yourself doing something is in my opinion the best way to learn how to do it because you see so many things um, that you do wrong where in the moment when the adrenaline's pumping you don't recognize or remember half of it most of it i would say so by being able to watch the tape back uh, is is really really valuable okay here i am coming back in for the first time uh, with this new technique of docking you can see i've got my uh, my line there in hand ready to go it is attached to the winch I am trying to kind of steer alongside, come in at a, at a slight angle to the actual dock. And um, I'm going to theoretically, in theory, throw this over the dock, over that cleat, which I miss. <laughs> okay, so a lot of stuff happened there real quick. I mean, let's watch it again um, because I think it's worth watching again. Okay, so we're gonna watch this again real quick, and here I am coming back in again. This is the first time I really don't know what I'm doing at this point. I've got to get this line over the dock cleat, and I missed right there. So at that point, I'm like, what do I do? Do I jump out? No, I slam on the reverse, which is what I did for to keep me from slamming into the end of the dock, and that pushed me into the dock itself. And because there wasn't much wind blowing or there was no current to deal with, my nose kind of stayed where it was and I was able to walk off the back of the boat and do what I needed to do. But was not graceful, was not, uh, I would call that not a very good landing. So here I am trying again. Again, getting out of my slip space like this when the wind is blowing on the starboard, um, sorry, the port side nose of the boat is relatively easy. All right, so here I am coming in for another attempt adjusting the throttle with my foot there and really trying to get the angle right. But uh, the last time I came in, I was too far away from the dock. Um, so this time I'm trying to get a little closer. Still got a, a whole bunch of line bunched up in my hand there, which is probably not a good idea. Uh, I was a little too far away. I decided that at that point, the better idea was just to jump off and uh, wrestle it in from there. Um, the forward momentum of the boat actually draws the boat into the dock and I was able to run forward and just grab the bow line from the bow of the boat and tie it off. So uh, the concept there was solid but I didn't actually do the, um, I didn't actually dock the way I wanted to dock. Okay so I'm experimenting with this new technique of uh, being able to solo dock in a more sustainable and or controlled manner because up until now I've just been kind of like floating in uh, with little or no power um, and just jumping off the dock and stopping it from crashing into things by muscling it around. 
and uh, that works great when it's super calm but if there's any kind of headwind like there is today um, it's really hard to control the bow so if you'll notice I've got uh, the boat she's tied up to that dock cleat right there uh, around the winch and she's actually in gear and pushing the whole boat into the dock basically it's pinned itself to the dock and now I could theoretically get up and tie it off up front and do whatever I need to do but the trick is going to be getting it over that cleat as I come in that's the trick makes me nervous just thinking about it so basically I walked to the bow of the boat here I've got the engine engaged it's pushing the boat forward even though there's quite a stiff breeze blowing over my shoulder there currently at the moment I have uh, like throttle engaged and I'm trying to keep the bow of the boat onto the dock with just that throttle alone and the wind keeps blowing it off slowly I'm standing there watching and it keeps blowing it off and blowing it off making me not so sure about this little experiment alright I'm calling it I want to try doing something for the first time when it's not as uh, as rowdy as it is right now it's kind of gusty the winds coming in over the top of those trees right there like it usually does north northwest and uh, that means it's really gusty and swirly and uh, I'm waiting for it to get a little bit more calm because I don't want this to turn into a disaster I want there to be sun shining when there's a disaster the sun's coming out just a little bit right there all right with the sun shining I decided to give it another whirl the sun is shining but it's still kind of cold out trying from a different angle here and uh, I'm gonna use some different tools namely the uh, the boat hook that I have I'm going to utilize that and see if I can um, make it easier to grab that cleat on the dock when I'm coming back in for a landing so here we go again, another pretty simple um, takeoff. Just unloop that from the, the dock cleat and give it a little bit of juice and you'll see the prop walk starts to pull the stern of the boat to the port side around the slip. Um, and then I walk forward on the boat just to make sure that I'm not gonna scrape or ding the boat to my starboard. And then I'm out, I'm off, no problem. All right, here I am rigging up the boat hook for the first time and my plan is to basically just loop it over one of the little boat hooks at the end and to lean over and grab the dock cleat with this new tool. The trick is just to gently lay this line over the dock cleat and just let the forward momentum of the boat uh, wrap, it, wrap it securely around. That's the plan. And there you go. You just notice my hand's really, really close to the winch right there. Uh, I could have been further away from it to give myself a little bit more safety. I wouldn't want to get pinched between the, uh, the rope and the, and the actual winch. Um, but that was a um, successful landing with this new technique. I don't know what you call this technique. I, I don't know if it has a name. All right, so here I go again. I'm getting a little better at this uh, getting off the dock business. Um, it's a little bit more calm. I generally just uh, put it just in gear so the prop is just turning in reverse um, and that pushes me back just really nice and slowly. I can kind of uh, fend myself off the dock itself and then I can take a walk around the bow just to make sure that I don't hit anything else up there. All right, so here I am set up again, ready and waiting with my boat hook and line, moving really, really slowly on this approach and you'll see I just basically lean over very slowly wrap it underneath the cleat around the winch and slow it down again my hands really really close to the winch and I should be further away from that but also notice my leg is not over the tiller and the boat just kind of gently wants to rest against the dock all right here's another attempt boat is in gear in reverse gear push off the dock a little bit if I need to Oop, and a slippage slightly embarrassing there try not to slip and look like an idiot all right, here I am coming in for another attempt. I've got my line attached to the winch again to the uh, end of the boat hook, and I am standing ready and waiting, trying to aim for that first cleat. I'm still working out the best angle of approach. Again, on this one, very, very slowly. Lean over around the cleat, 
My hand's a little further away this time, that's better. Reach down, give it a little juice, and she stays right on the dock. And that is how I hope to do it every single time. I'll have to say though that like uh, the conditions right now in this video are very, very calm. So the water is very glassy. There's very little wind, if anything, pushing me off the dock. Uh, when the conditions get a little stronger, however, when it gets a little breezier, um, you need more speed when you come in, otherwise you're gonna lose steerage. And um, that, that's what's happened to me several times since doing this practice. All right, here we are coming in for another attempt, a little faster this time. All right, this time I actually came in at the wrong angle. Came in too close and I had to kind of double back around. Then I got fumbled up there and I missed the actual hook. Jump over to the throttle, reverse. Back end goes into the dock. Front end is moving towards the actual boat to my starboard, but since I'm on the side of the dock, I can just step off and secure that. So that was a failed attempt. Um, and the reason was is because I came in at a, at, a, at a different angle. Okay, coming in for another attempt here. Lined up for another shot this time. Hopefully doing the angle a little bit better. Came a little funny anyways, but managed to straighten it out. Going nice and slowly. So I just reach forward, drop that over the cleat. Around the winch and tie it off. Again, if you want to make sure you stick to the actual pier, you give it a little gas and the boat will actually stick to the dock itself. All right, another day, another session. In this shot, you can really see the, the setup here. I have the, the line tied off in a, a, with a, a loop with a bowline at the very end of it. That goes around the winch and then the line goes down to the dock cleat. Um, back up around the winch itself and then off to the cleat right there behind the winch. So um, here I am fiddling with the gas, throttling forward into the dock. So you can see the tension on the line, you can see the boat kind of moving into the dock. Notice though that uh, the tiller should be in the down position and it currently is tied to the, uh, the main rigging. So if you notice, I've got the throttle up um, but the boat still wants to drift off to starboard and I'm up there wondering, scratching my head going, why is this happening? And I couldn't figure it out and uh, I didn't figure it out until again I watched this tape <laughs> and then I figured it out. So that tiller is, is, uh, is tied up and it's actually, it's as if I've got it fully pulled over to the port side which is creating some different tension on that line and it's actually like moving the nose away from the dock a little bit. So what I did to uh, remedy the problem was not actually fixing the problem by untying the tiller, but I gave it some more juice so there was more pressure pushing it up against the dock, which did the same thing. But you can still see that the, the nose kind of wants to drift off to starboard, and, I, and I, I'm still trying to figure out what I did wrong at this point, <laughs> wondering if it's gonna stay put. But again, look, bottom right hand corner, you can see my tiller plainly. It's like it's not in the down position. So feeling confident that I have enough uh, throttle engaged to keep the boat in place while I walk back and uh, check things out. Um, getting ready to launch here. Still haven't really noticed that the tiller is tied up and in the wrong position. Yeah, I had a little trouble getting the rope around the, the, the dock cleat there. The boat's wanting to drift back into the dock this time, so I ended up just standing on the dock and then um, guiding, it down, guiding it out and then jumping on at the last minute. This seems to be like, honestly, the safest way to do things because um, you really have a lot of control over where the, where the boat is going. So it's not until this moment that I realized that my tiller is tied up and non-functional at this point. So I very quickly untie this tiller, put it down, um, point it in the right direction hopefully, and give it some gas to get out of there. Not a perfect launch, but um, we managed to escape without breaking anything, which is always a good thing. <laughs> All right, so here I am coming back into my slip. Still not quite ready this time. You see, I'm getting more confident in my ability, so I haven't even used the, I haven't even rigged up my boat hook at this point. Um, I'll remember here shortly. Can't remember how this one goes. 
So coming in at quite a steep angle here, I'm not sure if you can tell from this shot or this angle, um, but uh, slightly too steep. I think, um, yeah, I give it a little bit of back juice here to straighten out the boat a bit and slow me down. And then it's just a matter of looping that line over that cleat. And that goes around the, the, the winch there and it pulls yourself, pulls you into the dock. That was a good one. I was about the right speed, you know, conditions today or on this particular day are not crazy, but there was a little bit of wind, I think. Um, so again, it's, it's good to practice all this stuff in, in as many different conditions as possible, obviously. Um, and I plan on practicing this when there's a bit more wind uh, shortly. But here I am just kind of playing with it, playing with the throttle, making sure that I can step off the boat or do something if I need to. And here I am playing with the actual tiller to see how that affects um, the angle of the boat at the dock. So if I push the tiller all the way to starboard, the nose of the boat goes all the way to port and sticks right to the dock. I think this is more relevant for kind of like situating the boat and the angle of the boat um, to uh, for when you want to leave the dock. So if I if I push all the way over to the starboard here, moving my my nose to port, um, that gives my, my the boat an, a better angle at reversing out of the slip itself. And I think that's what I'm doing here is just playing around with that angle and trying to get the best angle before I start my reversing procedure there. So now the stern of the boat is off the dock just a little ways. Uh, I give it a little back juice. Um, that's going to straighten up the boat just a little bit. Maybe not enough back juice. <laughs> very, very slow here. Alright, so here I come back in again. This time I'm going so slowly that uh, I decide halfway through, I believe, to give it a bit more uh, gas because again I'm just moving so slowly you really want to go as slow as, as possible and, and it's sometimes it's hard to find that kind of sweet spot of slowness um, this is too slow and I'm actually feathering a little bit more gas in there um, just to approach the dock it's a good angle though you can see clearly you just kind of reach over drop that line around that cleat get ready to pull it across your winch and the whole boat just kind of snuggles in nice and nice and comfy like to the dock and then play with the throttle just to keep things uh, stuck to the pier and you're good to go all right so here we go again notice that the tiller is all the way to starboard kind of pushing my port the port side nose to the dock I unwrap the line with a little difficulty here and uh, give it some reverse throttle to get me out of the dock. Notice that prop walk, as soon as you give it any kind of reverse throttle, I'm pushing uh, the stern of the boat, Al almost immediately it flies over to the, to the dock side, so I have to give it a little correction there, straighten out a little bit with my trusty boat hook, my trident. Basically, I'm learning that I don't have to be glued to the cockpit at all times. I think that's like a, a counterintuitive kind of um, thing for beginners if you're you're stuck on the wheel, you're stuck on the tiller, and you're thinking like, I've got to be here in case I need to change something or do something. But um, the thing about boats is you've got some time be between things happening. So utilize that time as best you can. All right, here I am going in for another landing. This time I'm doing a little bit more speed, you can see. Okay, this one I'm coming at a funny angle again. I'm really trying to come down parallel to the dock itself, but I overshot this one. So I'm having to kind of double back on myself here and uh, that's killing up more speed, stalling me out a little too far away from the actual dock itself. So I'm, I'm being plagued by uh, coming in too slowly at this point. Watch the stern, it's going out to starboard, swinging me around, swinging me around. Give it a little back juice to kind of stop the swinging of the stern. Now the stern is coming towards the dock and I basically am, I've stopped moving completely. Um, goes around the, uh, there's really no, there's no rush at this point. Everything's super slow, so. Around the winch and then I can put on some juice just to stick it to the dock. It's a really great way of controlling your boat up against the dock, I gotta say. 
All right, here we go again. Notice that the nose of the boat is towards the port there. I give it a little reverse, get that cleat off. All right, here we are coming back around for another attempt. I get my Trident boat hook ready to go. I know that you can actually purchase a special doohickey that goes on the end of your boat hook that holds the rope just perfectly, but um, this seems to work pretty good, and I think that with a little bit of practice, I'll become even better at it. All right, so here I come in nice and parallel to the dock itself. Easy lay over that cleat. There we go. Give it a little juice to keep me up against the dock. And that is how it's done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching my video on docking techniques. This is my, this is currently my favorite uh, solo docking technique. All that being said is that I've been out sailing a couple times since I made this video and both times that I returned back into my slip, I um, completely screwed it up <laughs> and missed the cleat both times and had to throw on the, the reverse throttle and uh, thrash about and make sure that I didn't bump into anything. It was, uh, it was all very embarrassing. Um, so, you know, you can never have too much practice, I guess. I just wanted to post this up to show uh, what kind of practices I've been doing. I'm gaining so much by actually filming all this stuff and re-watching it just like a football team would watch uh, um, the game tape. So thanks again for watching. Uh, sincerely appreciate it. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. Thank you to my patrons. Uh, you guys are legends, and I sincerely appreciate you guys keeping me going. Thank you for that. If you're, if you're interested in becoming a patron, you can do so. The links are in the description below, and you can do so for as little as $3 a month. Everybody helps. I really, really appreciate it. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.